All right, kids, get ready. It's fairy tale time. Once upon a time. That's what we old folks say when we're not sure of the date. But way back when, there was an old man who built puppets. The kind with strings attached to their arms and legs and heads, called marionettes, actually. This man was a very lonely old man, and so he would build these puppets to keep him company. Pretty smart, actually. Well, one day, this old man built a puppet so amazing that it actually started to move on its own. Well, hi. Are you my papa? I sure am. And you are Pinocchio. Beautiful. What a lovely way to end a story. But that's not the end. For you see, a traveling circus came into town that day, which was run by the big bad wolf. And this wolf had gotten into the business of convincing children to run away with him and perform in the circus. But it wasn't as fun as that sounds. The wolf made them walk on a tightrope, which was really scary, and swing on the trapeze, which made them really dizzy, and brush lions' manes, which was really dangerous. Worst of all, they had to clean up after the elephants when they did their business. Sorry. But Pinocchio didn't know about any of that. He just wanted to see the show. Well, that night, the old man gave Pinocchio some money and asked him to run to the store to buy some milk. Okay, Papa. But he was going to buy a ticket to the circus instead. And because it was a lie, his nose started to grow. Well then, Pinocchio went to the circus and had the time of his life. But he saw all the other children in the crowd eating popcorn and cotton candy, and he was sad that he couldn't eat anything because he was made of wood. So after the show, just as the first star began to sparkle in the sky, he made a wish. Starlight, star bright, first star I see tonight. I wish I may, I wish I might turn into a real boy tonight. Well. The big bad wolf saw Pinocchio and thought that a wooden boy would be a great circus act. And he can use that giant nose to spin plates on top of. So he put on an old dress from the circus costume trunk and walked over to Pinocchio. So you want to be a real boy, eh? Wow, you heard my wish. Are you my fairy godmother? I sure am. To be a real boy, all you have to do is run away from home and join the circus. But Pinocchio didn't feel so good about that. He would miss his papa too much, and he knew his papa would miss him. In fact, the old man was probably wondering why he was taking so long to get that milk. I'm so thirsty. And besides, this fairy godmother looked a little odd. Why are your hands so fuzzy? And why are your ears so big? And why are your teeth so sharp? Wait a second. You're the big bad wolf, aren't you? Are you okay? What took so long? And then Pinocchio made the first real boy decision of his entire life. He told the truth. I used the money to go to the circus. The big bad wolf tried to get me to run away, but I just couldn't leave you. I'm sorry, Papa. It's okay, Pinocchio. I am disappointed, but you did the right thing. You came back and you told the truth and you said you were sorry. And because Pinocchio did that, his wooden nose went back to normal size and then it turned into a real nose. And his wooden head, it turned into a real head. And he turned into a real boy. The old man was so happy and they decided to celebrate. And they would have had cookies, but they were still out of milk. So they ate popcorn and cotton candy instead. Delicious. And that's the end of the tale. Want to hear another story? Click here for Princess and the Pea. And let us know what story you want to hear next in the comments below. See you next time.